guys honestly with group work ASAP get those good people in your group get them like revising half of your lectures or maybe six six weeks worth of your lectures you're gonna be fine Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing very well. So on today's video, I thought I'd make one about what university assignments are like. Now I know some of my viewers, most of them are Indonesians. Hi, if you're watching my video, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know some of you are also watching my channel because you want to study in a UK university or maybe you want to go to the same university as me, which is Royal Holloway. So yeah, I thought I'd make one. For those of you who don't know who I am, hi, my name is Nadia Valerie. I currently study at Royal Holloway. Holloway University of London. I'm in my final year studying management with marketing. Make sure to click the subscribe button to watch my further videos. I'm gonna claim that what I'm going to talk about is based on my experience in my course and that is business and management. The types of assignments that I have in my course, they might have it in other courses like essays or multiple choice questions. They have it in other courses but it might just be different like the content or the questions so um, I just wanted to claim that this is more for business and management students without further ado let's start the video at university you will usually have three years okay first year doesn't count towards your final degree second year counts 33% and third year counts 66% toward your final degree in one year I have three terms term one which is September till December term two which is January until March and term three I think it's only um, two months now in one term students usually have four modules to focus on so four modules in term one four modules in term two but term three um, it's basically just exams so you have eight modules a year for assignments they are usually spread it out throughout the year you're not gonna have like all of your assignments are gonna be done within the first month of university don't worry about that it's gonna be spread it out if you want to know how many assignments you'll get in a year it really depends but for my course one module usually has two assignments sometimes even one so if you think about it eight modules times two 16 so 16 assignments another thing is um, like say one module I told you I have two assignments usually the first assignment is not as heavy as the second assignment for example in my first assignment I just have 700 words to write whereas the second assignment I have 2,000 words to write okay this is where I'm gonna talk more specifically about the types of assignments but I really hope you understand what I just said um, so you know how many assignments you get in a year and how much it counts toward your final degree That's that's another tip from me guys you better make sure you get good marks in second year okay because once you get into third year you'll have more words to write and just make sure you do pay attention to your lectures and workshops so the first type of assignments is essays now for essays it usually has a word count so let's say please write an essay with a 2,000 word limit so you have to write an essay which is no more than 2,000 words one of my modules I have an essay to write which is only 500 words pretty easy but then it went up to 1,000 and then in second year it went up to 2,000 and now I'm in my third year I have essays that are 2,500 words there's also many types of essays in my course I had to do a market research in my second year if you don't know what a market research is basically I have to do a set of interviews or questionnaires to people and do a research on something so I think in my second year I did why 16 to 25 year olds would choose Spotify instead of iTunes something like that So I had to write a 2,500 word market research But there's also many other types like normal essays like for example, please Explain why companies would choose to internationalize themselves. So that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? So I'll do an introduction write a couple of reasons reason number one expand That's one paragraph reason number two expand that's two paragraphs and have a conclusion to it and and that's an essay there's also individual reflection essays so it's basically essays where you reflect on what you've studied in my first year I had to do an individual re reflection of what I've learned for a certain module so basically I had to look at 
each lecture and put in my points there. I'm not a big fan of essays. Sometimes it can be very subjective. My tip for writing an essay, honestly, you have to make sure you understand the content, like the questions and all of that. You have to know what to write. You need to double check it with your lecture whether it's, is it right for me to write this? And you have to use a lot of resources that are credible, that are not just like basic websites. You're gonna learn more about this when you go to university University, but basically when it comes to essays you need to be careful where you reference your source it can't be just any sort of website it needs to be journals articles there's news like BBC you can't use references about like from god I don't know like unreliable websites like Wikipedia personally for me I don't really like essays I'd rather do exams or multiple choice questions which I'm gonna talk after this I've got essays where I got 80% I got 75% 72% but I've also received essays where I got 55% which is really low to be honest that was my bad because I didn't really like the essay title so that was my bad next one is multiple choice question now this i love i absolutely love multiple choice question uh test why because everything that goes out basically we've learned it so as long as you've revised the lectures the workshops as long as you paid attention and memorized everything you are fine you are definitely gonna get above 70%. My marks from multiple choice question tests have been really good. In one of my modules last year, I got 100% from social media, my social media module, and I've received accounting, for example. Even though it's counting and stuff like that, as long as you understand the formula, I mean, it is hard work trying to memorize and learn everything, but as long as you understand everything, you are fine. I feel like with MCQ test, it is easy for you to get a good mark and therefore get a good um, final degree results, if that makes sense. Like, it will help boost your marks. So, pay attention. Next one presentations so at university you will have to do group presentations or individual presentations it really depends personally I don't really mind with individual presentations because I like making presentations and I like talking I like planning stuff but when it comes to having a group a group work basically I'm not really a big fan of group work I know it's a very crucial skill to have um, for yourself like if you want to go to the workplace like you have to learn it but if I have to choose between individual presentation or group presentation I would do it by myself because I like getting things done my way I know that sounds selfish but I haven't exactly experienced it but I know a couple of my friends who ended up with teammates who are not really cooperative or they don't help or they're difficult to communicate if you get what I mean so it's kind of like dragging you and like affecting you um, but don't worry if this does happen to your group work you can always like in your group assignment there is this um, peer review so you can review those people who are not working of course the university is gonna take that into consideration and it's not gonna affect your mark so don't worry guys honestly with group work ASAP get those good people in your group get them like this year because of covid everything is online i was like panicking because one of my modules there was a group work assignment thank god one of my best friends is in the same uh class as me i messaged her and i was like uh her name is ines i was like ines we have got to find good people we have got to so once um the lecture started i just literally i said it in the group forum does anyone want to be in my group me and ines are really ambitious blah 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 and we got good people thank god i mean i don't mean to be mean but like this is university it's important it's my final degree and i want to have good people in my group and i'm sure you all as well it's very easy to ace a good mark as long as your presentation is good as long as you're talking fluently and as long as there's um like the content in your presentation is from the lectures you are fine and don't forget to smile in your presentations okay the next one is exams now for my course um for business and management actually it's more coursework based so i don't really experience that many exams to be honest basically what an exam is like so you have to revise before your actual exam you don't know what questions are going to be there but there's going to be 10 questions roughly around 10 questions and usually one question is from one lecture so 
in one term you're probably going to have 10 lectures right with different topics in each lecture and those 10 questions are from all of these 10 why am i doing this okay that's creepy but basically from one of these um lectures during the exam you'll only have to answer or pick you have to pick two or three questions and answer those like i think you'll have to write around a certain number of words honestly i don't really remember because i've only had exams in my first year i don't think you have to revise all 10 lectures because if you think about it you only have to answer three right revising half of your lectures or maybe six six weeks worth of your lectures you're gonna be fine but as long as you really understand those and be prepared for like the questions you'll be fine so don't re revising all of them is not really advisable i would say if there's only three questions just do half you'll be fine with exams it's easy to get a good mark as long as you know how to answer the question and you know what to say i mean it is a little bit scary because you're in an exam situation you have a time limit it's not like essays where you have two weeks before your deadline you can perfect your essay you know with exams you usually have two hours to answer three questions so that's pretty much it guys i'm so sorry if i'm mumbling there's just this is such a broad topic if you want me to do a live q a in the future please do let me know i i'd be happy to answer these types of questions and yeah final tips okay final tips again number one with group work please get good people in your group i can't stress this enough this never happened to me but i've heard my friends who ended up with people who are not cooperative number two listen to your lectures listen to your workshops seminars make sure you put what they said in your essays in your presentation and all of that lecturers love that and if you can put something that is not in like the um, the slides but based on something that they said or what they think they're gonna love that even more <laughs> tip number three guys i know we all love to procrastinate i love to procrastinate don't get me wrong but make sure you finish your deadlines weeks and don't leave it one day before the deadline because you will get stressed if you do that and pressured although it really depends i know some of my friends who did it one night before and because of the stress it makes them better at working and they they got good marks as well so it re really depends on who you are but my advice don't leave it to the last minute now obviously because of covid um some of my assignments have changed like for example i don't have exams anymore my multiple choice question um test is online so it's kind of nice doing it from home if you get what i mean yeah <laughs> i'm not gonna say anything but i'm just gonna say doing mcq tests is nicer at home not in a situation where you're in the class so yeah that's pretty much it guys i really hope you find this um video helpful if something is not clear please do leave a comment down below i would be happy to answer your questions or maybe do a live q a in the future but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope to see you in my next videos bye don't forget to click the like comment and subscribe button bye okay. alexa stop how do you use this thing like for real this is so complicated okay i don't know what to do um <laughs>